What up, what up, what up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Fabulous followers. Gang, gang. It is Vlogmas Day 3. And as you can see, I still don't have my Vlogmas intro. But if the young man doesn't get with me tomorrow, I am going to go ahead and pay someone else to do that vlogmas intro this vlog will be a little bit of me going to get the COVID-19 shield test after I just got like awfully sick uh, between yesterday afternoon and evening and um, just some other montage stuff that I put together I tried to record my Walmart delivery for the first time but that didn't work out so well like comment subscribe Come right back to it. Peace. Yeah. I'm gonna have to be right back because I gotta massage my jaws. I can't never get no saliva between smoking and taking medicine to make my mouth dry at night. It's the struggle. Well, I made it back from doing my COVID test and the guy wasn't going to be able to get back to me about the flu swab until 4.30. And if I'm lucky, I'll be asleep by then because I didn't sleep at all last night. But I went to the dollar store and got some medicine. I made me some tea. Lemon, zinger, and garlic, turmeric. I believe it's the two kinds I mixed. I wasn't really able to show you my grocery delivery order because, well, she was trying to put the groceries down. And she had her husband with her. So what I was thinking was if I had had my 40 case of water, I would let them bring it up to my actual door. But since I didn't have that, I just took it from them at the downstairs entry door. So I was up all night, couldn't breathe. Um, I did some hot compresses and then I bought one of these. I always pull the label off and people probably think I'm snoring drugs. But it's a Vicks Vapor Stick. And it has made the biggest difference. Even more than the cold and flu medicine I brought. So I'm um, just going to be doing that, drinking my tea. When I feel up to it, I'm going to make me some soup. I'm right. watching a little TV. I think I'm going to check out this new series, Harlem. And um, I put back the 1,000 piece puzzle. I just don't think I have the patience to go through that right now. So I just picked me up another... 300 piece sir. So I'll see if I can work on this one a little bit more diligently. 
So like I said, I'm going to work on my puzzle a little bit and hopefully take a nap soon. Um, I should get my COVID results back tomorrow, maybe even tonight. Uh, my head is not hurting as bad as it was yesterday. So I may keep reading some more of this book my son got for me. I'm really, really enjoying it right now. When I'm done with her book, I'm going to share it with someone. But I'm also going to do some research and start following Miss Tabitha Brown. Because I really like what she's saying and how she's saying it thus far. Um, I did not start my gratitude journal on the 1st. So now I'm wondering, do I just want to wait to January 1st? But knowing that the holidays are pretty serious as far as my depression and then the medicine dosage that my um, OBGYN gave me, she said, can also increase um, depression. So I really got to be mindful about that. So this is what you call a man down code 10 situation. I never needed a wife so bad. Like I had to run out. That just was so hard and just frustrating because I'm so tired and cold and everyone knows I'm never cold. I have all my heat on, long sleeves. You know that ain't me. But we're going to get through this gracefully. Um, believe it or not, I've still been handling things for some of my parents and making sure everybody is okay for this weekend. And um, yeah, the grind don't stop. Whether you home down bad, not getting paid or not. I pray to God it's not COVID. I don't think it's COVID. I think it's just this sinus, head cold, grubby stuff that I get when I'm about to come on my cycle and my immune system is compromised. So, <laughs> so be it. I'm um, not sure if I'll end the vlog here or if anything else will happen tonight. So, we'll see. Gotta go. The truth of the matter is, life is hard. Life is extremely hard. There are people with and without mental illnesses that struggle to find reasoning to make it through the day or not end their lives prematurely. With everything that goes on around us that could potentially take us away in a flash, people are still hurt, low, and empty enough to actually consider ending their lives. <laughs> Women trying to raise children, struggling through losing jobs, losing income, losing an apartment, losing your car. Been there, done that. Having friends say they'd be there for you, but they're not. Having other people, you know, make promises that they don't keep or half-ass the way they come through for you. Just know the battle is not ours and the test comes before the testimony. I am living proof. Even sitting here sick as a dog, low in my spirits from time to time, really wanting to get this care credit and get my emotional support animal I still have to pull out the positivity and the hope, not only for myself, but for the parents that I'm involved with, co-workers, and you guys here on YouTube. So, I'm going to let this be the last piece of Vlogmas Day 3, because if God is on my side... <sighs> I can get some rest soon, and hopefully the rest will turn into um, sleep because I was up all night fighting to breathe through my nose. Now it seems like my nose is getting a little clearer. I was just able to eat real food. I got me some tea right here that I'm waiting to get a little cooler. Watching some other uh, YouTubers vlogmas. Just listen to some T.D. Jakes. I tried to do some reading, but 
can really pull that off. So that's what's up, you guys. Um, I came out the sweatshirt, but I'm going to bundle up. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Vlogmas day three in the books. Namaste.